In this video, we're asked to use Rydberg's formula to find the first four wavelengths in the Lyman series. So these are photons that are emitted when an electron decays from a higher energy level in the hydrogen atom down all the way to the ground state. Now just for historical accuracy, Rydberg's formula was deduced before anyone knew that the spectrum of hydrogen had anything to do with energy level transitions of electrons. This was just a pattern that was noticed in the data. And the Lyman series would be decays for which this NF is equal to 1. Now we know that that's a decay to the ground state energy level. But if we treat it purely empirically, what we're looking at is a transition from n equals 2 to n equals 1. And then we'll look at n equals 3 to 1, 4 to 1, 5 to 1. And we'll have our first four wavelengths in the Lyman series. So to get the first wavelength in the Lyman series, I have 1 over that wavelength lambda. And I'll plug in the Rydberg constant here, 1.097 times 10 to the 7 per meter. And then I have a 1 over 1 squared minus 1 over 2 squared. So I'm just going to do this all at once in my calculator. In this piece, that's a 1 minus 1 fourth, which is 3 fourths. Notice that you always have to have your smaller value of n in the first term. Otherwise, this will come out negative. And of course, we know the physical reason for this is no photons are going to be emitted unless the energy level is dropping down to a lower state. So I take that 3 fourths times Rydberg's constant and then take the reciprocal of it to get lambda. And I get 1.22, just keeping three sig figs, 1.22 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. And we probably want to express this in nanometers, so that's 122 nanometers. Now recall that the shortest wavelength of visible light is around 400 nanometers, so this is actually ultraviolet light. Let's see what happens with the rest of them. For our n equals 3 to n equals 1 transition, again, my final state is the n equals 1 state. My initial was the n equals 3 state. So this gives me 1 minus 1 ninth or 8 ninths in those parentheses. And again, I'll smash the numbers together all at once. And from the energy perspective, I'm looking at a bigger energy gap here. So I do expect my wavelength to be shorter. And it comes out that way as 1.03 times 10 to the negative 7 meters, or 103 nanometers, again, ultraviolet. And our next one is set up the n equals 4 to 1 transition. For this one, I get 97.2 nanometers, again, ultraviolet. And our final wavelength from the n equals 5 to n equals 1 transition is 95.0 nanometers. So we were asked in the question to comment on the type of light emitted in the Lyman series. And I can see the longest wavelength is ultraviolet. And after that, they just get shorter. So they're all ultraviolet. And looks like we're done with the problem. If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.